Hello inmates. So this very quick video is one which I'll be putting a link to from my shopping basket area because there's a lot of confusion around the Brexit and the VAT. I'm getting loads and loads of emails every day about VAT where people are assuming they're paying VAT and they're not. So can I just walk you through it right now? Let's go onto my laptop now and have a look. So here I am on the shop part of the website. So let's, for instance, go and look at a Denali bundle down here. And let's pick the bikes. Let's go to R1250 GS, the non-adventure bikes. So we've got a load of bundles here. So let's say I go and click on this D4 bundle, a very popular bundle just there. And you can see the prices on here right now. I'm telling you right now, the prices you're seeing on my screen, this very, very moment are for UK and these include VAT. It doesn't say it includes VAT, it doesn't need to. But if I go and hit add to basket, so 610 pounds and two pence. Now if I go and view the shopping basket, if you look on here, you've got the, the item here for 610 and two pounds. You've got free shipping in the UK. We've got, I've got an address already in here showing Leeds, which is a city in the United Kingdom. Now, if you look down here, it says 610 pounds and two pence, and in brackets, it says includes 101 pounds and 67 pence. Of That is the element of VAT in that 610 pounds. Now, if I go on here and click change address, and I put in United States, remove any evidence of a UK address completely, and I now hit update, you'll see the 610 pound has gone down to 508.35, and then the shipping for United States is 28 pounds. And if you notice the text doesn't say include VAT, there's no VAT on this at all. So just bear that in mind. Now, the only thing is, if you decide to go on the website and you're in another country right now, uh, at, you're in the EU, anywhere outside the UK, and you go on the website and you start checking this out and selecting UK, make sure you go back and select the country that you are in because the cookies the the cache memory on your computer whatever it is it will remember where you last were on this website and it will think you're in the uk the thing is you can't pay too much because if you are in the uk watching this and you're thinking oh i'll select united states to get cheaper prices because if i go and navigate around the website now so if i go and look at that d4 bundle for instance you'll see it on the website at 508.35. If I go back to the shop and I look at, go and look at the same, the same lot again. So the R1250GS, Denali bundles, and you'll see all the prices, that one there, 508.35. It's because it thinks I'm browsing in USA. So if I go back to the basket, so go back to the basket area, view basket, and there it is again, so 508.35. Now, as I mentioned, if you're in the UK and you're thinking, oh, I can, I can beat this and, and pay the, the cheaper price, you can't, in, not, not unless you're prepared to ship it all the way to America because you can't submit any other address other than an American address if you've got United States on the checkout or any other country. So as soon as we change this to UK, United Kingdom, hit update, it will then go revert back to the, the UK pricing, which includes VAT and the text shows VAT. Now let's try this for a different country. So let's uh, try this for, let's say France, very popular destination, just to show you the difference. Update, and you'll see again, because of Brexit, it's the same price as what the Americans are paying. Obviously, the shipping is different because it's nearer, it's £22. So the only place that is paying VAT is the UK. If you don't see the, the text VAT, don't worry, you're not paying VAT. So I hope, hopefully this has been of help to you so you understand exactly how the checkout works. I'm not even going to mention VAT. If you're not in the UK, you don't see VAT. All right. Actually, one thing I did forget to mention, obviously you're paying less. So you're outside the UK, you're not paying our VAT. So you're saving some money initially, 
but you're now worried about the cost that you're going to incur when it hits your country. So there will be some duties uh, implied. Now, I know that when I buy things here in the UK from America and I have to pay duty, I generally pay around about a 12 pound fee for that, it's, it's, it's like a handling fee. I pay like a 12 pound handling fee and then any duties on top of that as well. So just bear that in mind. So I'm, I'm aware that some countries have got higher um, amount of tax than the UK. So for instance, I'm dealing with uh, some shipments going back and forth from the Netherlands at the moment, and they are subjected to 21%. Now, what I am being told, because I've sold quite a lot of product s since we went into Brexit, is that a lot of people aren't getting the the tax bill that they are expecting so it's a lot lower than what they're expecting now i don't well maybe it's because I, I i put all the paperwork all the invoices via email to the customer i don't put any invoices in the box but that that's just my that's just the way i do things so i'm not doing anything wrong it's just that i don't i don't put all the invoices in the box so that is obviously going to help you to save some money possibly but what I'd like to ask you, because I do get emails every week from customers asking me to declare it as a gift or under declare it. Technically, if you ask me to do that, you're asking me to break the law for you. You know, I think I go to prison if I get caught doing that sort of thing. So it's pretty illegal. So please don't ask me to do that. Um, I, I do do what I can to see whether I can save you some money somewhere. Uh, in the whole process, but please don't ask me to do that, okay? Because it, it's, it's just not fair on me. All right, so if you can afford it, buy it. If you can't, don't. <laughs> this is, was supposed to be a, a nice quick video just to explain how it all works. Hope it's helped you. Stay safe behind bars, and I'll see you in the next video.